So logic and fear, the intellect and fear. You know, we're told in spiritual teachings and a lot of this positive stuff that if we use the intellect at all or if we use the mind at all, that is not a good thing. We need to be in some blissful, perfect state 24-7. If not, then that's not a good thing. Well, that's not true because there is a such thing as being a deep enough thinker, a critical enough thinker to where you could do both because real critical thinking, real logic, real even, you know, esoteric type thinking is thinking that involves intellect and intuition. So what we feel and what we think. And when it comes to fear, if we're able to stand back from it and not react to it, which is the point of my last few videos, meaning we have transcended the fear of the mind, at least to an extent, we can then analyze it in a way that doesn't just keep going in a loop that never ends. In other words, if you look at most of your fears, this is for all of us. They aren't based in something that's actually there. They're based in something that could happen, might happen, should happen, did happen, which means in theory, the fear is nothing more than a thought. Now think about that. It's easy to say that, and that's what a lot of the gurus and the positive thinkers do, but think, but really contemplate this. If it's not existing right now, it is a thought. That's all it is. And when we start backtracking this and looking at it and analyzing it and going with our intuition, because we know that's true, we start to dismantle the fear. So we're using logic to quite literally dismantle um, the illusion at hand, which is the fear. Now, again, as I always say, there is something to be said about having caution. You're not going to survive if you don't have caution. That's what Dr. David Hawkins says in a lot of his books. But fear chronically is not realistic. And we can use logic. We can use the mind to figure these things out. There's another author, Jed McKenna, where he basically says we use the mind to get the mind to essentially commit. Well, I guess I can't say that on here because it'll probably kick me off. But we basically use the mind to ultimately get rid of the mind and its programs. So... There is a such thing as using logic and reason, which ends up in wisdom, by looking at these things from a distance and also knowing that we can combine the intellect and intuition. So, you know, when I had, I said in my other videos how much fear I dealt with for so many years, and it was beat into me. It wasn't, you know, walking around timid fear. It was my careers were fear. Everything was driven by fear. And what I started to do slowly was logically look at it. And I, and I would think to myself, it's one thing to feel it, but this actually does not make sense. And then it just starts to crumble. So take a step back and look at your situation with logic and you know reason and critical thinking and say, is this actually real? Are my problems and my fears sitting here right now in this moment? And if they are, you're going to have to deal with them anyway. But in many cases, it is in here instead of out here. And I continue to say it, but I want to continue to go deeper into this aspect of using our mental faculties once we are not controlled by them in order to quite literally solve some of these issues or just transcend all of them. But there is something to be said about combining all these together. So that's what I'm trying to say and that's what we need to look at.